So well, let me ask let me ask some some man child boys in here some questions. One question. I just got one question. Gabe, is it okay if I ask him a question? Who killed Goliath? David. Does anybody else have a different answer than David? Does everybody in this room know that David killed Goliath? Anybody have a differing opinion on that? Well, let's turn to 2 Samuel chapter 21, verse 19. 2 Samuel chapter 21, verse 19. This is the King James Version. Now, I'm going to read from you some different Bible versions. I'll tell you what they say and what the King James says, okay? 2 Samuel chapter 21, verse 19 says, And there was again a battle in Gob with the Philistines, where Elhanan, the son of jer Oregon, a Bethlehemite, slew, what does it say? The brother of Goliath, the Gittite, the staff of whose spear was like a weaver's beam. So what does the King James say? It says the brother of Goliath. Now, if it said Goliath, would you be confused? Because we know who killed Goliath. A small child, every small child in this room that can read or has had their parents explain to them the story of David and Goliath, understand that Goliath was killed by King David. But this, the, the King James says it was the brother of Goliath in this, in this verse. Well, now look. Well, I got 2 Samuel 21, 19 in the Geneva version. This is the Geneva version right here. But I'll just read for you what it says in the Geneva version. So people, because people, I, this, this person online was like kind of saying, well, is the Geneva better than the King James? Well, you know, what are the differences? <clears throat> and I thought of this verse right away. And it's the 1599 Geneva Bible. It says, and there was yet another battle in Gob with the Philistines where El Hanan, the son of Jer Oregim, a Bethlehemite, slew Goliath, the Gittite, the staff of whose spear was like a weaver's beam. So this version right here says that, that El Hanan killed Goliath, the Gittite. So is it wrong? Now, people will say, well, it's not in the original Hebrew. The word for brother is not in the original Hebrew. And I'll, I'll, I'll address that in just a minute. But is that, is that a correct translation? It's not a correct translation because we know <laughs> that Goliath was killed much earlier. Now, when I brought this to this guy's attention, he said, well, this is, a, this is probably a different Goliath. And, you know, <laughs> did you happen to, to, to realize that it says Goliath the Gittite and not Goliath of Gath? And I just kind of, you know, I mean, I think that pretty much most people know that have read the Bible that if you're a Gittite, you're from Gath. Okay. So it's, a <laughs> so it's like, you know, they have to make things up to make their story sound legit. You know, and when I showed him, the, I just kind of gave him the definition. Like I just Googled Gath, what is a, what is a Gittite? And it says the definition is somebody from Gath. <laughs> and I just, he's like, well, that's real scholarly, scholarly of you. And you looked it up on Google. But anybody that's read the Bible knows that if you're a Gittite, you're from Gath. I mean, I just thought that was common knowledge. But see, this is the, the, the length that people will go to try to, per, you know, to stick by a perversion in God's word. Now, the Hebrew word is, for brother, is not in there. So how do we know that that's true? Well, before I get to that point, I want to read you from the Amplified Bible what it says, real quick. The same verse. There was war with the Philistines again at Gob, and Elhanan, the son of Jer Oregim, a Bethlehemite, killed Goliath the Gittite. Who's, so that's the Amplified Bible. You know, it's really loud. Right? But anyway, so it says they killed Goliath. The ESV, which, you know, people are the most scholarly version of the Bible. You know, John MacArthur promotes it or whatever. Look at what, what, look what the ESV says. It says, and there was again war with the Philistines of Gob, and Elhanan, the son of Jeror again, the Bethlehemite, struck down Goliath the Gittite, the shaft of whose spear was like a weaver's beam. Um, so I saw a version where it says that it was, it was the length of a sailboat, uh, a sailboat, whatever, staff or whatever. You know, it's the, what, are the, what are they called, the... Mast, yeah, sailboat mast, that's what it said. It's like, what? Anyway, so how do we know that the brother is the right translation, though? Well, first of all, again, everybody knows that Goliath was not killed, you know, by Elhanan. He was killed by David. Now, look at 1 Chronicles chapter 20, verse 5. 1 Chronicles chapter 20, verse 5. And look, I'm not trying to bash 
the Geneva Bible necessarily. I'm just saying, so, I, and if the Hebrew word's not there and they're translating it literally, then yeah, they're technically right. But if you know that that's not true and you still put it in there, then you're putting something that's not true in the Bible. Does that make sense? First Chronicles chapter 20, verse 5 says, And there was war again with the Philistines, and Elhanan the son of Jer slew Lami, and it says his name right here, the brother of Goliath the Gittite, whose spear staff was like a weaver's beam. Now, in the other one, the brother of is in italics, showing that it was not there in the original language or whatever. But if you go off of 1 Chronicles chapter 20, verse 5, that, does, that, does that have italics there in your Bible? No, it doesn't. So they're technically right. They're not, they're not technically wrong, but they are wrong because we know who killed Goliath, right? So in 1 Chronicles chapter 20, verse 5, it spells it out for us once again. And so the King James translators translate it correctly. Why? Because it is in the original in this one, and it's this telling the same story. It's not... A, 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 a doppelganger Goliath, you know, like this guy tried to purport to me. It's not some second Goliath, for the Gittite, instead of from Gath. I mean, that's just a bozo's way of trying to interpret it. That's just a wrong interpretation of it. 